In the early 2000s, home entertainment was going through a massive shift. DVDs were great, but they weren't high definition. The industry needed a new disc format that could handle 1080p movies, surround sound, and massive storage capacity. Enter HD DVD, backed by Toshiba and Microsoft, and Blu-ray backed by Sony in nearly every major movie studio. At first, it seemed like an even fight. Both formats had huge corporate backing, both had Hollywood support, and both were battling to be the next standard in home video. But by 2008, HD DVD was dead and the Blu-ray was the undisputed winner. So what happened? First, Sony played chess while Toshiba played checkers. The sh chess, it ain't checkers! Instead of just selling Blu-ray players, Sony built Blu-ray into the PlayStation 3. That meant millions of homes suddenly had a Blu-ray player by default, while HD DVD had no equivalent mass market push. Second, storage capacity mattered. A single layer HD DVD could hold 15 gigabytes, while a single layer Blu-ray could hold 25 gigabytes. And for movie studios, more space meant better quality and more bonus content. Third, Warner Brothers killed HD DVD overnight. In January 2008, Warner Brothers, one of the biggest movie studios, announced that they were dropping HD DVD and going all in on Blu-ray. That was the moment the format war ended. Within weeks, Best Buy, Walmart, and Netflix stopped supporting HD DVD, and by February 2008, Toshiba officially surrendered. At the time, this was one of the biggest format wars since VHS versus Betamax. But looking back, it wasn't even close. Sony stacked the deck in Blu-ray's favor, and HD DVD never stood a chance. And the irony, Physical media is dying anyway. Streaming took over, 4K Blu-ray is barely holding on, and HD DVD is just a forgotten relic of a battle, ultimately, that didn't matter.